Okay. What is this we hear about Carter Ferguson having the flu? Where'd you hear that? Well, it's all over town. He wasn't practice today. Carter's got the flu? Is he going to be able to play tomorrow? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. He just stays in. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it would be terrible if Carter couldn't play tomorrow. Oh, you know, Carter knows how important this game is. Come on, he's not going to do anything and jeopardize the whole thing. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Oh, I am? Thrill. In fact, I'm going to go over and tell him. Excuse me. Hey, Coach. What the hell are you doing here? You know, just the most amazing thing happened. All of a sudden, I was feeling much better. Huh. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should take it easy before the big game. You're really pushing it, aren't you? You know, this is no coincidence. You knew I was going to be here. What the hell are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove a thing. I just wanted a beer. All right, you had your show. Now, you've got two choices, Hero. You can walk out of here or I can carry out. What's it going to be? I'll walk out. Come on, guys. What are you looking at? Down. All right, yeah, all I do is build the offense around my kids so I can showcase his talents, and this is the payback I get. What's your problem? <laughs> do you see a dog dish around here anywhere, Christine? No. Oh, well, that's just great. Well, what's the matter now? Well, Kelly was supposed to come and feed my dog. How do you know she didn't? Well, I don't see the dish out anywhere. Well, maybe she washed it and put it away. My daughter? <laughs> it is possible. Oh, sure, yeah, it's possible she took it for a pizza, too. Man, I can't believe this, Christine. I told her to come and feed the dog, and then when she left to leave the lights on, the lights are off, so she didn't come. You stupid dog. <laughs> I can't believe I let Kelly talk me into this. Gee, I don't even like dogs. Can I tell you what he did the other night? He crawled into bed with me, and he woke me up. <laughs> He's having this weird dream, you know, and he was growling, and his leg was going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> If, if you're going to feed him, how about if I feed us? I'm not hungry. Well, I'm going to make myself some eggs and haven't eaten since lunch. Hey, I'm sorry you didn't get any dinner. Oh, it's okay. Look, I am making this as fast as I can, okay? <laughs> you give me an egg, Christine? Look, I, I thought you weren't hungry. Oh, that's for him. He likes an egg in his dinner. Did he tell you that? Uh, it's good for their coat. Help them live longer. Now relax or I'll throw you out in the cold. <laughs> what am I going to do about Carter? Well, like... I think it's obvious, Hayden. He broke a rule and everybody knows it. You have no choice but to bench him. Right, so you're saying lose the game. What I'm saying is, what's more important, winning the game or keeping your self-respect? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> all right, how about the respect of everybody else? Luther, Dauber, all the guys on the team, you made them all play by those rules. Yeah, and all those rule swallowers are going to go after Saturday and get their butts kicked by the Golden Gophers. I gotta tell you, Christine, if Aiden Fox goes five and six, nobody's gonna care that he did it to uphold some stupid principle. I don't think Minnesota State is going to fire you because of one losing season. Oh, yeah? Well, that's what they told Curly O'Brien, and now he's sharpening the ice skates at the mall. <laughs> God, Christine, you don't know anything about football. This is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately kind of business. And I'll tell you something else. If I don't have a job, then I'm not gonna have a showcase for all these wonderful principles. Then you've already decided. You're going to play him. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be some angle I am not thinking of. There's got to be a way to play Carter and not lose my credibility. I don't know how, 